Hi peoples, my name is Jeff2146 and today we are going to do our first lore video on Armored Warfare. We will today be discussing the events prior to the game Armored Warfare itself and the setting of the world. So let's get started. In late 2010 Europe found itself at the crossroads. Its economy never truly recovered from a massive financial crisis, the impact of which was made considerably worse by the European Union governments being completely detached from their voter base and the reality of daily life in most European cities. This was basically the Wall Street collapse back in 2011, no, 2008, sorry, where most of the world went into financial crisis and some countries until now have not recovered from it yet, like um, Spain and Greece, Portugal, While the United States adapted to the situation and leaned more towards isolationism, basically becoming a second North Korea, Europe chose to keep its borders open, leading to the arrival of millions of refugees from the war-torn Middle East, despite warnings from all major militaries and police forces. Basically, immigration became a big problem for the European Union and they did not have the willpower within our parliaments and senates to actually do anything about it. Despite all the warnings from the armies, the police forces, security forces, they did nothing. Unwilling to accept the reality of new security threats, the passivity and indecisiveness of European governments led to the worst series of terrorist attacks in history culminating in the detonation of two dirty nuclear devices on the outskirts of Paris and Berlin. While the casualty rate was relatively light, the sight of the massive atomic-like explosions and the subsequent news reports of victims dead or dying of radiation sparked a revolution of the kind that Europe had never seen in its modern history. Basically, it is a second Vietnam media basically terrorized the people into believing there was no hope left because of these two explosions and sparked a great revolution to give power back to the people in Europe. You could compare it to the French Revolution, basically throwing off the monarchy, but in this case throwing off the government. The United States managed to avoid such attacks, but the American economy also suffered from its isolationism and the now basically completely economic dead south that has been pretty much bought up by drug lords and militia organizations that have started a new civil war. In the wake of the attacks, the European Union became completely paralyzed as all traditional political parties collapsed virtually overnight, burned away by the fires of people's rage. Populist leaders rose to power with promises to end corruption, solve the constant state of crisis and to make Europe safe again backed by the unprecedented popular support, a massive hunt for the culprits began. By the time it ended two years later, thousands of formerly untouchable political figure, figures, bankers or businessmen had been found guilty of contributing to the state of the world and were executed or sentenced to life in prison. But for all their monetary support, the revolutional leaders could not only ride on popularity wave, so far, in the, econom in the economic state situation just kept getting worse. Many economic structures had been damaged beyond recovery, factories had been looted and closed down, infrastructure suffered under the years of neglect. Europe basically was a shithole. While most European countries avoided the complete collapse, Every event country in the world saw its situation worsen, with the biggest burden of funding cuts crushing the weakest members of society, the sick and the elderly. 
The worsening healthcare and social service situation led to further riots threatened to destroy the last vestiges of stability within Europe and North America. And in their desperation, the leaders turned to corporations, hammering the last nail into the coffin of the old world. Basically, Europe doesn't exist anymore. It is a free-for-all fighting zone between militia groups and PMCs. North America is fighting a losing war against drug cartels and militia groups in the south with riots in the northern parts. It will not take long before they fall as well. This will conclude our first part in the lore series of Armored Warfare. My name has been Jeff2146. Signing off. Hope all of you enjoyed. If you did, you know where the like button is. If you didn't, just hit dislike. It doesn't matter. I'll see all of you next time. Bye for now.